Hey everyone, Big Idea Designs released another new tool recently. Uh, I just had a review of the TI Utility Knife, and then a few days later, they dropped the BitBar Inline Max. Now, I was very close to purchasing the original BitBar Inline because I like the compact size. Uh, they were sold out when I went to purchase one, and then they released the Max version which uh, I think is even better. So I purchased one right away. I wanted to quickly unbox it and show you what it's all about and just give you kind of first impressions. So let's check this out. It is a solid titanium pocket screwdriver, grade five titanium. Uh, and there's three different configurations, which I will show you. There is the inline, there's the offset, and then there's the T handle. Uh, it comes with five uh, double-sided flat bits and a magnetic storage shaft, which I am excited uh, that it has so many bits. So let's unbox this. Uh, anything else in here? Just the normal thank you and a sticker. And there it is, folks. There's the screwdriver. In the spare parts bin, we have another flat-sided bit. Very nice. So there's six double-sided bits total, and I believe you can store five in the actual screw screwdriver. So there it is. Looks very, very nice. And that's how it comes, comes out. And there you have it. So the cool thing about the updated version, the old version, just the bit bar inline, only had three bits that you could store, uh, and they were not double-sided. So you're pretty limited on the, the number of different bits. And this, each bit is double-sided. Um, so it comes with a flat head in the handle. And then each one of these bits, yeah, is very, very secure. So there are, um, they're calling rare earth magnets, which hold in each one of these bits. That's actually a pretty cool motion. So you can see the magnets right there to secure the bit, slide in. I mean, those, there's no moving or jiggling. I'm flinging this pretty hard and this isn't even coming out. Um, so if you need to change bits, say I need a number, number one Phillips, pull this out of there, swap it out. And there you have it. And then the inline, for, ooh, that makes a nice sound. I know some people, I've, I've watched reviews of the BitBar inline, some people don't like the scraping sound of the titanium. I think it sounds kinda, kinda good. I kinda like the sound. Now I don't know if there's a, a better way. It seems to fit about the same no matter which way you turn it. I don't think there's a sweet spot. If there is, let me know in the comments. Um, there's just a slight, you can hear a slight rattle when it's together, but it feels very, very secure. So that's the inline. And then the top here is the offset. Hmm. There we go. There's the offset version. So if you need to get a lot of torque on something and then the T-handle. There we go. There must be a certain way that fits a little bit better for these positions here. But that's very, very nice. And then put it away when you, I love that. I love that sound. Sounds very, very nice. Um, and just for comparison purposes, um, having a couple different screwdrivers with multiple bits in it, this big guy, uh, it's an Irwin, really, really nice, but I mean, you can't pocket that. There's, there's no way, <laughs> there's no way that's fitting in a pocket. Um, it has a ton of different bits and options, uh, but still not as many as the BitBar Inline Max. So that's why I was excited to get this. I can keep this in my pocket if I'd like, throw it in a bag and have a bunch of different options. Uh, so again, this was just a, a quick um, unboxing video. Uh, if you'd like to see a, an update review long term, let me know in the comments. Um, but there you have it, guys. There's the, the BitBar Inline Max. Again, not much of a rattle at all. I was kind of worried about that. 
uh, upon getting it, and I was worried about the bits kind of rattling around and not being very secure, but can you hear that? It has kind of a cool springy sound when you're, when you're locking the bits up and securing them. So it's a very satisfying tool to use. Um, yeah, very nice. So there you have it. There's the BitBar Inline Max.